Hello guys, welcome to this new video. I hope you guys are well. I'm Mitty Travels and welcome to Montpellier. I've actually been here for two days and I've been here exploring the city for two days and it's been absolutely incredible. Look at this view behind me. I mean, look at that. I'm currently standing on a rooftop of the Carm, which is a huge like Esplanade place with like the Hopper House and conference rooms. And you can actually climb up the top and uh, to see this uh, magnificent 360 view of the city, like uh, I have behind me. And uh, yeah, it's been two wonderful days. I, uh, I've had a blast exploring Montpellier. The, water, the weather is beautiful. Like the city is like super nice. A lot of historic history, like old buildings and historic moments. So it's been incredible. So are you curious to know what I've been up to for these two days? Well, let's rewind to two days ago when I've arrived. Let's go. Good morning! It's 9 a.m. here in Montpellier and I am right now at the Esplanade du Pérou or also called Promenade du Pérou or also called Place Royale du Pérou. It is basically a huge historic site located on the east side actually of the city. This plaza is here since the 17th century and basically it, this whole place is, is classified as a historic monument, historic site as you will. So uh, you, from here, actually, you have like a, an Everton, a viewpoint of like five, four or five major like areas of the city. First, you have the view of like the main Arc de Triomphe, which is like located just in front of the park. Then you have the statue of Louis XIV, Louis XIV, who is uh, right in front of the park. So you actually can't miss it when you come here. You also have great views on the Pyrenees mountain surrounding, surrounding the city because uh, the, the, the town, the Montpellier city is actually not far from the mountains. So you can actually have a glimpse of that. You also have a glimpse of the aqueduct uh, that is not far from here. And uh, yeah, so this is a great place to come, chill. Also, like if you come in the morning, right, like I'm now, there's not many people. So you have, you have your, the place almost to yourselves. And uh, yeah, let's, let's show you around. And uh, yeah. Oh my god, look at old tree house. Up there. What? There are two actually. One there and one over there. So for brunch today we got iced mocha and I got egg benedict with like potatoes. It looks so good. Hey guys, well breakfast was delicious. 
now I'm gonna head to Cathedral Saint Pierre, which is uh, kind of a big cathedral before the Jardin des Plantes. So uh, let's go there and check it out and uh, continue our explore of Montpellier. Let's go. Welcome to Cathedral Saint Pierre. Hey guys, so yeah, so we are walking towards the tram. We're gonna be taking it to go to the market, a Marché de Lez. And uh, so the tram is number th tram number three, and it goes all the way there. So uh, I think it's uh, quicker, and uh, it saves me some walking. So uh, let's uh, find the tram. Let's go. Look at that mural. That's so cool. Number three. So let's see, so we will be stopping here, that would be just okay. So yeah, I'm gonna get a ticket and then, uh... So we got the ticket and now I'm waiting uh, three minutes to take the tram to Perol Centre and uh, yeah, so I think uh, it may be like 10 minutes or so. So uh, I'll see you when I get to the market. See you later. All right, I made it to the station, and now I have to walk like uh, about ten minutes to the market. So uh, let's go. The tram was uh, was pretty smooth. I think it's about like seven minutes from where I was to here. So the stop you have to get out is uh, Pablo Picasso. And uh, it's, it's about like five or six stops uh, before you arrive at uh, Piazza Station and then you have to walk like 10 minutes to the market. So I'll catch back with you once I get there. See you later. We made it guys. There it is. Marché du Lez. Okay, let's go inside. Who's this way? Not sure. All right, I've made it inside. A lot of things seem to be closed, but let's try to find something to eat because uh, maybe it's open later actually uh, for dinner. We'll see. All right. So we have omelettes here. Let's see what it, what they have. What's open? There's also space outside. So this is the inside place. You have like different like stations. It's very close right now. <laughs> so it's around like 4 p.m. So I think a lot of things might be closed. Might be uh, the reason why. There is stuff outside. So let's check that out and see uh, what they have. <laughs> Little combi. I want one. Oh, ice cream. Oh, 
So here's the map if you want to know. This is the food court where we were and that was closed. And then here there's another huge section and here as well. And there's like a lot of vendors along the way, which is cool. So let's go and check some out. A lot of things seems to be closed, unfortunately, but um, I think maybe uh, like later in the day, like in the evening, it might be a bit more lively. Maybe during the weekends as well, because uh, there's a lot more people. So yeah. So I got a bagel here and fries. So, so there's like a chicken and like stuff and I got like a mocha ice mocha here and this is the view all right so that was really nice oh my god little puppy that was really nice I think now we're gonna head back into the city center <laughs> too bad like a lot of vendors were closed but I think if you come like in the evening or on the weekends, I think there might be more people and more vendors open, I think. But yeah, never mind. I won't have time to come back later. But uh, yeah, if you're in the area, definitely uh, check this place out. It's a really cool place to come and hang out and have some food and stuff. So yeah, so another plan, we're going to head back to the city center. And then uh, we're going to walk around, I think, the town, maybe go to the car room, maybe. Uh, we'll see. So uh, let's head back to the tram and then uh, let's go. Hello, guys. Welcome to Esplanade Charles de Gaulle. This is a, a little park, Esplanade, that's by a place called the car room. And the Karm is actually a big uh, infrastructure which has the opera house and uh, conferences uh, in Montpellier. So it's like one of the oldest parts of Montpellier. And it's actually a, a huge park, as you can see, that you can walk. Uh, it's really nice. And uh, over there, over there, there's like the, it's called the Place de la Comédie. So it's like a huge plaza with like food and like stuff like that. So, so it's a pretty nice area. Um, and now I'm gonna head towards the Corum and uh, I've heard there's a nice view from the rooftop, so uh, yeah, let's check it out. Le Corum, there it is, Palais des Congrès, Opéra. This is where, like, yeah, like they have like a theater, opera, stuff like that. It's pretty neat. See the mountains over there? That is um, Saint Pierre's Cathedral over there. Saint Pierre's Cathedral. And uh, I don't know what this is though. So it's pretty.
right now I'm actually gonna take you to apparently it's a really good pastry uh, bakery here in uh, Montpellier it's called Bruno Liegar and basically he makes like really good like tarts apparently so let's try to find uh, his uh, store and uh, hopefully fingers crossed it's still open because yesterday I came and it was closed so hopefully it's open and uh, we can get some uh, yeah. some great tarts so uh, fingers crossed so this is the place Pastisserie Artisanale Tarte Sucré Tarte Salée So basically, I've heard it's good, so uh, let's uh, let's find out. I got a raspberry tart with a pistachio, and the tea is coming as well. So. All right, well that was absolutely delicious. So if ever you're in Montpellier. Don't forget to check this place out. It's a little like a uh, pastry place called Bruno Liegar, and they actually make like homemade uh, tarts. So they have like uh, savory and sweet tarts. So, uh, so yeah. All right. So now I think this was our last stop for this trip, and I think I'm gonna head uh, towards the train station. So uh, see you when we get there. Hey guys, I've arrived at the station. So this concludes this video in Montpellier. I hope you enjoyed it. These two days have been absolutely incredible from the concert I went to, to visiting the city. This history has so, this city has so much history and like amazing views. And all the places I went to have been like absolutely great. All the places I've been to have been absolutely incredible. So if you're in the area, don't forget to check this place out. Maybe one day I might move here, who knows? And uh, yeah, so this city is actually like not far from the sea. So it's also a great place for students to come here. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is like a quarter of the population of the city is actually, uh, are actually students. So um, if you're looking for a place to study, this might be your place. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on this little bell to activate notifications to receive, uh, to be notified when I upload my next videos. And uh, yeah, so for those who have sticked to the end, thank you very much and as a bonus, Here's a here are little clips of the concert I went to. And see you on the next one. Bye.